Hi, I'm Jenny, welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to do something a little bit different. I want to show you around my studio and talk to you a little bit about what's been going on for the last like year. Um, today, when this, when this airs, I guess airs, when it gets uploaded, will be the first day of December. It's my brother's birthday. Happy birthday, Eric, if you're watching, yay. Um, <clears throat> but it will also be nearly a year uh, since I quit teaching. Um, so I was I was a high school English teacher for nearly 30 years. It was 29 years. And last December, when we hit the last, last few weeks of the, the semester, I was really struggling. And by the time uh, the semester was over and Christmas break hit, uh, I was in pretty much full crisis mode. Uh, and and I basically had a nervous breakdown, so I did not go back to work in January of 2022. Since then, I have spent the year um, talking to you guys, making art, shooting videos, uh, and and coming to terms with with some things that uh, were bothering me. I've had some health issues, uh, which are ongoing, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but I, I just want to I just want to acknowledge that I've spent the last pretty much 11 months um, trying to kind of rebuild myself uh, and I feel like I am starting to get there now um, you know I'm, I'm not there oh here I am fixing my hair right <laughs> I, I'm not there yet uh, but I'm I'm much closer than I was uh, so one of the things that I want to do, is I want to reorganize and clean out my studio. Now, I have spent multiple years keeping everything. I am fortunate to have a, a large studio. This is in the basement of my home. Let me back off here so you can see. It's a large room. When, uh, when we first moved into this house 15 years ago, uh, this was a theater room, um, and it has since become my my studio. A um, couple years ago, two years ago, I think, I got this system from Ikea. It's actually a system to hold toys. It's a toy box kind of system, a tower, but it's really great for craft supplies. Uh, and then I have... A lot of business things at the back that no longer apply because I am no longer um, doing that business that they've kind of stagnated there. Um, when the pandemic hit, I was in full swing with doing uh, selling kits at craft fairs, um, these kits that I had designed. So those that kind of just went away. And then following the pandemic, uh, as I said, I've, I've had some health issues and things. And so we just have not been to back to craft fairs. So I have a lot of stuff back here um, that needs to uh, find a different home. So um, I have lots of the kits that are uh, down in here. So you can see I have lots of those. There's two, two bins of those plus this box. Um, there are demos that show what the kits look like, you know, when they're done, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then I have some down here that are framed, uh, and I have lots of extra frames down here. So Lock and Var and I have decided that we're going to try to um, kind of bulk sell some of the kits and, and the demo pieces, maybe to somebody who can resell them uh, online. So we're gonna we're gonna try to recoup a little bit of the money that we have in them, just to just to clear them out. Uh, I also have a small. Um, Ikea bookcase, the, the boxes down there on the bottom have um, like towels and, and magazines and things like that. Uh, and then I have a bookcase over there. Um, last year for my birthday, Lock and Bar got me a nice comfy chair uh, and I got this lovely throw from my mom. Um, so that was nice. I kind of made a seating area. Um, so you can see I have a large space, I have my computers over here. Um, I have a large space, but it's it's full. Like all of the bins are really full. Uh, and it's 
it's to the point now where I feel like it's overwhelming me. There's, there's too much. There's too much stuff. Um, you can even see I have, I have jars of things across the top. Um, and I feel like there are some really nifty things that I have, but they're buried under things that are maybe not so nifty. So my job at this point is to clean out some of this stuff. I will be donating um, much of it to the uh, local art resource center, uh, which I have talked about before. Uh, things that are not worth donating will be will be trash, but a lot of it, a lot of it will just be donated, and then a lot of it will be moved. For example, when when I look over here, I have this bin. <coughs> that is full of paint and I like the paint and I don't want to get rid of the paint but it's it's in a very inconvenient place it's on the bottom this the the bin it's in is too heavy because there's too much in it so it needs to be split up and moved um, to smaller bins where I can pick it up by color like all maybe all the blue in a small bin and all the you know all the red things like that um, I have a ton of paper, so I have an entire basket down there full of music paper, um, which I will be keeping quite a bit of because I use that a lot, um, but I will probably be donating some of that to, to friends. <laughs> um, then I have, so over here, I have one that's labeled cardboard. I honestly can't remember the last time I pulled any cardboard out of that. Uh, and then I have um, wallpaper. So I have vinyl wallpaper and print, uh, painted uh, wallpaper that I, and paintable wallpaper, um, you know. And then also down here, I have two more, two more books of wallpaper samples. So as much as I love the wallpaper, some of it probably needs to go. Um, you know, so it, it will be getting donated to the Art Resource Center, I think. Um, the same, you know, likewise up here, I have a little bin with pastels and charcoal. I can't remember the last time I used those. Um, you know, they, they, just, they just don't need to be here. Uh, so I just need to clean out some of this stuff and keep, you know, keep the really good stuff and let the rest of it go so that... It's not overwhelming my space and maybe overwhelming my creativity too. I have lots of books here. I have more books on a bookshelf um, outside, of, outside of the door. Uh, and all of those, I would like everything that is art related to be in here. So I'm gonna have to clean out some of these uh, and get rid of them. I have things stacked here. There's a project in process. There are boxes. Um, so you can see out there, I have a desk out there with, that's where the bookcase is that has more books on it. That is just um, a little desk. That's my, the actual desk that I worked at during the pandemic when I was teaching online um, was that desk. I had my school computer all set up out there so that I could keep this space for my personal use. So that is the tour that, that is my space. Um, and I'm thinking that by January 1st, I think this month, my, my goal is to uh, clean some of this stuff out and, and reorganize it and lighten the load. Um, and I, I, think, I think I want to start January lighter. Um, so a lot of this has to go. I just kind of wanted to show you a before and uh, tell you about you know, where I am with this and, and what my project is looking like. I do think I will be uh, continuing with uh, the Monday, Motivational Mondays, uh, until we get through a whole year of those, which is coming up pretty fast. I think in the middle of January, we'll hit that, that year. Um, and so until then, I, I may not be posting a second video each week. Um, I, might, I might post an update depending on how this goes. Uh, but my goal is to to clean this out, and it's gonna it's gonna take some time. So, until next time, remember use what you have to make your life more beautiful.
Bye.